Number three, if the function f of x is changed to g of x equals 3 times f of x minus 7, close parentheses, plus 2, what transformations have occurred? All right, so f of x is where we started, and now we have all this. What's happened? Well, I'm going to follow the rule HIVO. And remember, HIVO stands for horizontal inside, vertical outside. And remember also, that's rule number one. The second rule that we follow with that is that uh, horizontal is opposite. I'll just say horizontal capital is opposite and vertical is normal. Okay, so here I have this negative 7. It's on the inside of the function. So, so it's inside, which if it's inside, that means it's a horizontal. And uh, since it's uh, horizontal, it's also opposite. So instead of going negative 7, this will go plus 7, which would be right 7. I'm going to add this here that it's also backwards because it's horizontal. Or opposite would be the other word. Um, let me change that to opposite. Okay, uh, on the outside here, I have this plus 2. Plus 2 is on the outside, so it's vertical. Which means, and I'm just going to do V for vertical. And because it's vertical, it's also going to be normal. So plus 2 would mean up to. Out here, we have this 3 multiplying. It's on the outside. So it's, since it's on the outside, it's vertical. And since it's vertical, it's going to be normal. And so multiple, when you multiply a number by 3, it gets a whole lot larger. So this is a stretch. This will be a stretch by a factor of 3. Vertical stretch by factor of 3. So that's what we have here. We have three transformations. It's going to shift right 7 up to and be stretched by a factor of 3.